today's challenge, I'll create a simple clock with only the hour hand to help show how the modulus operator works. First, I want a clock in the center of the stage. I'll get the clock's hour hand sprite so I can determine a reasonable size. I'll delete the cat, delete, new sprite, things, arrow 2. I want the arrow in the center of the stage, motion, go to, go to 0, 0, when the green flag is clicked. Run it. It's in the middle of the stage, but I want the pivot point to be in the center. I'll go to Costumes, set Costume Center, move it to the pivot point. Better. Now to make the simple face of a clock, go to Backdrop. I want to draw a circle, I'll click on Ellipse. I'll hold the Shift key down. That makes a circle. Looks like a good size. Move it over here. That should work. Looks like it's nicely centered. Good enough for this example. I'll put some numbers on. Text. I'll use the scratch font. Scratch. I'll put a 12 in. Move the 12 down a little bit. About there. Put the 3 in. Text. 3. Move it about there. Put the 6 in. Move it down a little bit about here. Text. Put the 9 in. It looks about right. I'll move the 12 down a little bit. I have select already selected. Select the 12, move it down, that looks about the same as the others. That'll work. can give it a little bit of color. I'll select green. There's my green. Use the fill. I'll fill it in. Uh, the 6 and the 9 will need it too. I'll try dropping it inside and inside. Good. I'll go to the scripts for the arrow now. Scripts, arrow. I'll try moving the clock's hour hand sprite. I'll go to motion, point in direction. It's pointing at 90, which is to the right. I can try down. Good enough. Left. Good enough, a bit farther over. Try up. Good enough. And that was all four of these menu entries. Now how to move the sprite for each of the hour positions. A circle is 360 degrees. The clock has 12 hours, so they are 360 divided by 12 degrees apart, which is 30 degrees. I'll try that. Operators. Multiply. Times 30. Now I only need to enter the number of hours can try 0, which would be midnight as it's showing. Change it to 1. Try it. It's at 1 o'clock. 2. 2 o'clock. 3. 3 o'clock. 3 times 30 is 90. And that's at 90 like it was showing in the menu. 12 was 0 degrees. 90 degrees is a right angle. Makes sense. I'll try 6 hours. Pointing down, I'll try 9 hours, which would be 270 degrees, to the left, and back to 0 at the top. I only need to multiply the hour, 0 through 11, times 30 to get the right number of degrees. I want to show the relationship between hours that keep increasing beyond 12 and the cyclical hours of 0 through 11, even though we label the 0 hour as 12. I want a couple variables. I want a variable of time and hours that starts at 0 and keeps incrementing past 11. Data. Make a variable. I'll call it hour time. Global. OK. It'll be available for all sprites. I also want a variable with the hour values 0 through 11 for the current hour in hour time. 
make a variable, call it my hour for this sprite only. Okay. I'll bring it underneath our time. My hour will be between 0 and 11, while our time will start at 0 and will keep incrementing past 11. I'll initialize them both to 0. Set. Duplicate. Hour time. I want a loop to move the clock. Control. Forever. I'll move point and direction in the loop, but I need to set my hour first. I'll go to data. Set my hour. My hour needs to keep cycling between 0 and 11 based on hour time. Go to operators. I'll get modulus. The modulus operator is the remainder of division. A couple examples are included in the help. I'll run some right now. Try 1 and 12. 12 goes into 1 zero times and has a remainder of 1. Try 2. 12 goes into 2 zero times. That would be division. Remainder is 2. That's the modulus. Try 0. 12 goes into 0 zero times, and as it showed, the remainder is 0. Try 11. 12 goes into 11 zero times, with a remainder of 11. Try 12. 12 goes into 12 one time, with a remainder of 0. 12 goes into 13 one time, with a remainder of 1. 12 goes into 14 one time, with a remainder of 2. And 12 goes into 15, one time with a remainder of 3. I'll use the loop to show these variables, but first I'll set my hour. I want to set my hour to hour time modulus 12. Data, hour time, mod 12. Hour will be 0 through 11, which will be perfect for point and direction. I want to slow down the loop a little bit. Control, wait one second. I want our time to change. Data, change, our time by 1. When the program starts, the two variables are initialized to 0. My hour is set to 0 mod 12, which is 0. Points in directions 0 times 30, which is 0 degrees. Waits a second. Changes our time by 1. Our time will be 1. 1 modulus 12 is 1. Point in direction of 30 degrees, wait, change to 2. The loop keeps incrementing our time. While it's incrementing our time, my hour will cycle from 0 up through 11, then 0 up through 11, and keep repeating doing that. I'll run the program up to a count of 40. Make sure the program stopped. Run it. Time is going by the hours. They're both at 5, 6, 7. It'll do that up through 11. Then at 12, our time will keep going up. My hour will cycle back to 0. 3, 4. My hour is showing which hour it's pointing at. It'll continue cycling up to 9, 10, 11. Now back to 0. One more time. It's counting on 3. Our time is increasing more and more. It'll go up to 36. 12 into 36 is a remainder of 0. And even up to 40. Stop it. 12 goes into 40 three times. That's 36. 36 from 40 is a remainder of 4. Hopefully this simple example helps give a feel for modulus. I'm finished with this short challenge. I encourage you to play with the program and get comfortable with the modulus operator. Try changing the program. Try changing the clock from a 12-hour clock to a 24-hour clock. Try adding a minute hand, changing hour time to be time in minutes instead of hours, and display two clock hands. Try making a clock to show the current time of hours and minutes using the current time from the sensing palette. Current operator has minutes, hour, and second. Instead of setting hour time to zero and changing it by one, use these values. But most of all, have fun with the program. <laughs>